Alderney, one young filmmaker has turned a potentially flat subject into one that's highly charged. Well, even perhaps some of those people who live in Alderney realise just how, how fantastic your power station is. As fantastic as our power station is, it's really about future-proofing, 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 future-proofing the energy of this island. You may remember a few months ago I made a video about the Olney power station. Well, one thing that I forgot to mention is what powers the power station. Last night the CEO of Olney Electricity said, Cam, why don't you come on down and see one of these big fuel shipments coming in? I don't know why they don't just do this during the day. I'm the Harper Master. The pilot's happy with the situation. We're as prepared as we can be. If I go overboard, this is going to go off automatically. Don't pull this, stay on the boat. Any incidents of getting on board a boat before? Strong weather, strange weather to deal with, but we've just got to trust the crew. And so Nigel, what did you do? I'll be driving the boat that puts Rick onto the fuel tank. This yeah, sounds yeah. like a major operation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to make a move. Fantastic, let's do it. Seems to be approaching the, uh, the ship now. Why is it parked so far out? outside of the harbour. There's a designated area which is far enough away from the port so we can put the uh, pilot on board safely. It's got time to manoeuvre the vessel and uh, get it on the correct heading to enter into the port. Good luck, my friend. Wow. is a very big boat and it's currently carrying about 23,000 litres of fuel and right underneath here the commercial key there's a pipeline that goes all the way to own electricity and thank god that these guys know how to communicate because that was an excellent maneuver what do you guys think about renewables sort of uh, program on this island. At least to start, didn't it, at some point. Plenty of sun and wind. Doesn't mean you guys don't have to come out and do this then? Exactly. <laughs> not, as, not as often, yeah. Everything all right on the boat? All right, thanks. All, all, yeah, all, yeah. all, all tickety boat, signed. all tickety boat, yeah, all done, all done. Great. So, uh, paperwork is done. Uh, the lads and I, we're going to head back up to the power station uh, where they're going to start pumping through the diesel to the, uh, to the tanks, right? Yes, yeah, through to the tanks. Through to the tanks. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? A little bit, just a little bit. We're now is dipping the level of the fuel. We'll start dips before, and then afterwards we'll dip it, and then we stick it all on the spreadsheet. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. yeah. So, James, tell me a little bit more. How often does that boat come in? Four or five times a year, depending upon where we are in the um, tidal cycle. We are reliant upon fuel supplies coming in from the UK or from Europe. Those are all things which are in the hands of other people. We have no control over that. You've made such um, big improvements to the power station to be able to facilitate um, renewable energy. It's done the power station, we sp spoke about that last time. There has been an equivalent expenditure on the network. We burn 10% less, less fuel than we did five years ago simply because of the improvements that we've made on the network. <laughs> Where were you this morning? You, I didn't see you on the, on, the, on the dock. I was in bed, I'm not going to be up at that time in the morning. Well the team at Old Electricity did a phenomenal <laughs> job this morning. To be honest Cameron, they don't want me there because if I get there it just complicates matters because I, I don't know what I'm doing. So the last person they want on site is me, I'll tell you. A couple of weeks ago I came down here and we saw the fuel coming in. So I decided why not drop into Old Electricity and see if I can find out a bit more about this island's infrastructure. I hope someone's in. Someone's gonna be in, surely. What do you do in uh, So I'm a project manager. Previously spent 13 years at Guernsey Electricity and uh, decided to make the move back. What are we looking at here? What's all this stuff? This is the island's high voltage network. This is what people this call is the, what grid. the grid. Yeah. yeah. This is what people call the grid. 
This is a lot more recognizable. Okay. Here we can see all of the cables. Most of them are buried now. Some of them are still overhead lines. Well, it's a beautiful day. So we might as well go and have a look at some of these substations. Let's do it. <laughs> Go to the east side of the island uh, where we're building a new substation which is going to replace uh, a substation that was actually installed by the Germans. Some of the equipment in there is actually from, from that time. We've built this. The red cable is high voltage and then the, the, the black cables are uh, the low voltage. So don't touch the red one. Don't touch any of them. Oh, please don't touch any of the cables. So these are uh, low voltage lines going out um, to the east end of the island. We're actually in the progress of burying them at the moment. Um, we're down near Longy, you said there was a few substations that are a bit out of the way? Yeah, so we've got one like, hidden in the trees uh, just up this road. Oh look, there it is. Is that another new. one in a... It's in the jam bunker, but it's all new. Um, we just used the space to put a substation. That's another one inside a jam yeah. bunker. Yeah, wow. circuit that leaves this substation to different roads or areas. What are these things? So this is uh, fuses, so each cable is protected by fuses. That is basically what's in my house, but on a bigger scale. So fusing your plugs, 13 amps, and these are 160. So there you go. Thank you very much, Lauren Electricity, for having me on a ride along around the island. Liam, you did a great job. James, thank you for getting me down to the harbour so early. And ladies and gentlemen, till next time.